I wanted to ask Ms. Rose and Commissioner Magnol, um, it's been three days since the announcement was made that the WNBL has turned pro. So I just wanted to know how has the reaction for that been so far uh, on your end? Uh, let's, let's start with Ms. Rose. Uh, you know, it's really overwhelming. Our page is uh, swamped with a lot of uh, inquiries from women bowlers. Uh, in fact, for today, I have four or five Zoom interviews for WNBL alone. And then last night, I was being interviewed by uh, Inquirer.net. And it was so surprising that uh, the writer, Dennis on the Lupang, told me that you know, their Twitter now is, you know, um, how do you call that? I'm not a Twitter person, but uh, they're really surprised with the feedback. And uh, the press con happened on a Wednesday, but up to yesterday, there, I mean, it's still hitting up. So um, I'm doing my assignment right now. Uh, what I've been doing lately after the press con is that I'm trying to do an inventory of our women players. Uh, of course, there will be a draft in October 2020. Uh, what else? Entertaining inquiries of interested uh, team participation. So there's really a lot of work right after the press con. And then that's really good news because um, now we can see there really has been a buildup of interest when it comes to making basketball professional here in this country. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Agree, so, um, agree. How about you, Commissioner Magno? How has the reaction been on your end? Um, actually, it's very overwhelming because. Um, players from Luzon still in Mindanao was messaging me how to do the drafting, how can they join. And after the press con, I already have two uh, inquiries for adding a new team in the WNBL, but still we're focusing on the short uh, listed of teams so they can maximize the talents. Bayo and, and Danica. Um, also Trina as well. Um, how have you guys reacted to the news of, of this league turning pro. Let's let's start with Trina. <laughs> uh, um, one word. Finally! <laughs> Finally, because um, there's just so much talent in the Philippines and I believe that we have so much to offer, so much to show, so much, so much to prove. And finally, we have a chance to show the Philippines what Filipino ballers can do. I love that. Uh, how do you feel about that as well, uh, Danica? Uh, yeah, similar to what Trina mentioned, it's really about time that we have a pro league for women's basketball. Most especially that there have been a lot of attempts to make women's basketball big in the country. Like, for example, in the UAAP, whenever um, the final four starts, uh, leading up to the finals, uh, ABS even would cover and broadcast the games. But we need to have some sort of continuity so that a lot of people will see the story behind women's basketball. So I hope that this league will be very much sustainable and it really opens a lot of doors to Filipino ballers now that the league is here. Yeah, that's, I love that word, continuity. There's supposed to be a continuity to it. And do you feel the same way, Bea? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a dream come true, actually, for all of us uh, female ballers. You know, whenever we, ha whenever we have basketball events for Nike, for ABS-CBN, whenever they interview the female ballers, there's always one thing that we resonate with um, together. And it's always having that professional league so that, as Danica mentioned, there's continuity um, in the game that we all love. And finally, you know, in the midst of all this negativity, the pandemic and everything, this is such a big gift. I think it's a big gift to all of us. Um, it gives all of us like array of positivity and excitement also. Because everything right now, parang it's on yeah. a halt. So now all the female ballers, parang they're all saying na, ah, kailangan na namin magpa-fit ulit, magpa-condition yeah. ulit. So, um, I see that in all the uh, all the friends that I have on social media, balik alindog ulit, so nagpapa na, nagpapapayat, nagpapalakas na lahat ulit. So it's something really exciting, and I also have a lot of questions, and I also want to know more about the league. So I'm happy that um, Miss Rose and Miss um, Commissioner is also here to answer all our queries. Uh, and yeah, that's absolutely true. There's there's now something to look forward to, especially for the women basketball players here in the country. 
actually we had a, sh- a show where we featured the gilas women's and jack and imam mentioned um how unfortunate it was that she had to seek overseas leagues um just because we didn't have our own and now it's just crazy that was just a few days ago and now mm-hmm. everything has changed so you're you're a- absolutely right everything is now looking more positive in terms of women's sports smart sports tiebreaker podcast she just knocked down a three she just scored the game winning goal so she did <laughs>